Hello, ASD. Welcome to International Week 2021. My name is Yazan Zarka, and it is my pleasure to be the MC and high school speaker. I would have loved much more to give the speech in person rather than through the screen. It has now been over a year since we were all gathered in the high school gym. Each of us dressed beautifully in our national dresses. And the gym looked nothing like a gym. It was decorated with over 80 different colorful flags that represent our diverse ASD community. To start today's virtual celebration, please welcome the high school wind ensemble performing Majesty by John McAllister. Thank you for that fantastic performance by the High School Wind Ensemble. Now our first speaker is also the youngest. Please welcome Eduardo Diaz, who is this year's International Week Upper Elementary Speaker. Hello, ASD community. My name is Eduardo Diaz. Lots of things are changing these days. It seems like everything is passing by so fast. First, we start school in a hybrid format, then, COVID cases around the world change so much each day. Next, we go back to what we thought we had successfully overtaken, virtual school, and now we've returned to hybrid. In our generation, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. It's true, change isn't easy. The split between A day and B day has made it harder for us to see our friends, not being able to high five each other, and having to pause participation in some sports and clubs. This past school year has been a tough one, not just in our school, but in our world. Right now, in many ways, the world is more divided than united. However, what's most disappointing is that these are the times when we most need unity. Today in our world, innocent people are severely mistreated just because they look different. 
Yet we ASD citizens have the opportunity to embrace these challenges together. We have to be there for others when they most need it. Doesn't matter if they look different, talk different, or play something different. We are all part of one community. That is what should motivate us to stick together. Already, we have done some things to stay united. Zoom calls with our friends and classes, putting on smiles under our masks, and genuinely trying to maximize our experiences with these situations. Look at us now. We are coming together as a school to celebrate our differences. We are united, and we should be proud of it. Winston Churchill explained unity when he shared, when there is no enemy within, the enemies outside cannot hurt you. Right now, we are facing enemies like COVID, and we are the shield that guards us, yet only if we are united. First of all, why would we try so hard to connect in the first place? Well, imagine a world without unity. Imagine not being able to support each other. I wouldn't call that place a community. Okay then, why would we try so hard to be united now when in the coming times we go back to living apart? See, unity is too precious to lose. We have to maintain it. We have to be here and welcome others by building bridges instead of walls. We have to be there for each other now so that in the times ahead, we can live on to embrace challenges together, just like we did now. Future's ours, and we own it. Now, it's time for us to use it in a way in which we unite and be a shining example to the world. Thank you. And now, please welcome this International Week's middle school speaker, Lamia Haroon. Twenty years from now, what will come to mind when you hear 2020? Will it be, that's the year I became closer with my family, or I completely lost it by having to attend Zooms 24-7? That's the year where I was finally motivated to work out, or will all I did was sit on my couch and binge watch Netflix? Hello, my name is Lamia Haru, and I can say for myself, as a middle schooler, coping with virtual school has been the biggest challenge of all. Having to be on top of things and organized was a struggle for many of us, but we embraced this challenge together as a united, diverse community. COVID has had a huge impact on our day-to-day -day lives in both positive and negative ways. As someone who is very outgoing, my life was completely flipped upside down when we went into lockdown as a community. Not being able to see your friends for so long, field trips and sports being canceled, just to name a few. A large personal struggle was being forced to stay in one place for so long and not being able to go out. I mean, I've never spent as much time in my bed during all the years that I've been asleep as I did in that first month of quarantining. We, as an ASD community that's so diverse with more than 80 nationalities, were able to unite and come together during this time. We went through so many challenges throughout the year, but we stuck together through thick and thin. We were willing to help each other out and provide support to those who were struggling. For example, we've had ASD students run charities for the Lebanon crisis, and our own leadership class created tutoring sessions to help those who were having a rough time in school. We did not go through this pandemic alone. We all had to embrace this challenge together and adapt to what was happening around the world. If you would have asked me a year ago how different our lives would have come due to the pandemic, I would have never in my wildest of dreams imagined our lives to turn out to be like this. From having to wear masks every time I leave my house to even having a virtual international week. Looking back now, 2020 was the year that we strengthened our bonds with our loved ones and became more independent and responsible when it came to school, as how we approached virtual school was completely up to us. Now, even though COVID brought many struggles, there are positive ways to think about the past year. We as a community truly learned that it's the people in your life that make a difference in who you are today. Us ASD Dragons are strong because we never let anything get in our way from being able to succeed, no matter what the circumstances are. In conclusion, we have come so far from where we were before and have really made the best of the situation as possible. We are a powerful ASD community and will continue to embrace challenges and overcome any obstacles that will come in our way. We are ASD Dragons and can accomplish anything if you're willing to put our minds to it and work together. Thank you. Now please welcome back this year's High School International Week speaker, Yazan. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the ultimate measure of a person 
is not where they stand in moments of comfort and convenience, but where they stand in moments of challenge and controversy. International Week is usually about the happy ambiance, the laughter and the cheering, all filling the place as well as the hearts of all those present. Then came March 2020 and our lives were turned upside down. A new global pandemic suddenly became the center of everyone's attention and concern. And with it, a new set of challenges appeared. Schools closed, online schooling, complete lockdown, stores closing, masks, gloves, hand sanitizers, COVID testing, press conferences, increased cases. What a time, full of unplanned surprises and unforgettable challenges. As we reflect on 2020, as if dealing with a global pandemic wasn't enough, we also had significant global challenges emanating from systemic religious, cultural, and social intolerances and rampant discrimination. We often hear how 2020 was a year full of disasters, but in my mind, 2020 was actually a reality check for each one of us. We were all faced with difficult challenges that were a true test of our character. How we fared in that test depended largely on not only how we perceive things, but also how we tackle them. Studies have shown that people generally fall into two groups when it comes to facing challenging situations. The first group runs away from the challenge and they tend to have a fixed mindset. They believe that their abilities are limited and therefore they give up easily. However, the other group actually runs towards the challenge and embraces it. And those are the ones with the growth mindset. They jump on the challenge and perceive it as an opportunity to grow and evolve. Basically, in the simple words of Rafiki in The Lion King, you can either run from it or learn from it. 2020 was a very difficult chapter in all our lives. We were and still are challenged on so many levels. Online schooling has been tough. Not being able to see friends on the other day of the AB schedule at school, wearing masks around the clock, not being able to travel to our home countries and reunite with our families and loved ones. What did we do? Did we just sit down and lament our tough luck and tough life and hope for the best? Did we dwell in sorrow and misery? No. In the past year, we learned to take advantage of these difficult times and become stronger as an ASD community and society generally. People globally stood up the atrocities emanating from intolerances and discrimination. They yelled, enough is enough. People's lives matter. Change happened and happened quickly. We used social media to remain connected zooming with our families and friends around the world. We created stronger bonds with our parents and siblings. We connected with our friends through video games. We saw each other while following strict social media, uh, social distancing guidelines. And last but not least, we must recognize our parents and teachers for creating a safe environment, wherein they worked so hard to ensure our safety, which allowed us to continue to learn. So yes, 2020 was a crazy year, but we are so much better and so much stronger as a result. And this strength will stay with us forever. And as Robert Hugh says, the struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce ASD's new director, Mr. Steve Rezidlo. Good morning, students. Good morning, staff and faculty. And good morning and welcome to visitors who are watching us uh, from points afar as we prepare for our celebration of flags and our ceremony of International Week. International Week 2021 is different this year in look and in feel because this year is different. We have worked for over 12 months to confront the challenges and embrace the challenges of the pandemic. The pandemic has changed us and our school year in ways that we would have never imagined. Our student speakers this year have done a great job of capturing much of the sentiment and the feeling uh, that has accompanied our year. Yazan reminds us, for example, that it's human to either run from or face down the challenges of the pandemic. And he tells us that our ASD community, even when we have been tired from this long effort, keeps moving forward to meet our mission. He calls us to action especially in this time. Lamia shares with us, importantly, that we have not gone through this pandemic alone. We may have at times felt lonely, 
But this wonderful school, gathering students and families from over 80 nations of the world, offers us the chance every day to learn and grow through this historic time, celebrating a reality that our diversity is one of our greatest strengths. Eduardo echoes much of the theme of this year's celebration, embracing our challenges together, when he says, we are the shield that guards us. That's a wonderful image, isn't it? A diverse group of staff, students, community, shielding ourselves against COVID-19, honest, compassionate, respectful, responsible community. We are working together to embrace the challenges of this year. And now the middle and high school vocal music department presents Tula Cliseo by Joseph Shambhalala with an original prelude written by the students and dedicated to all ASD dragons. A prelude to our fellow dragons. Tu la cliseo na la pasequia. Be still my heart, even here I am at home. This song gives us a mantra, one to breathe in and to breathe out, to let us know that we are all in this together. We laugh, we cry, we smile with each other. Kia na la pasequia. Yes, even here I am at home. Home is where we are happy. Home is where there is love and family. Home is where your heart is. We laugh, we cry, we smile with each other. Each of us are unique and beautiful, diverse yet somehow the same. Brought together with similar stories, empowered to share our heritage and culture, to help our fellow dragons learn, love, and connect. We laugh, we cry, we smile with each other. In tough times, we turn to our community. We join the Zooms, we wipe each desk, turning to each other when things get tough, leaning on each other while staying six feet apart. We are united as one, embracing challenge together. We laugh, we cry, and we smile with each other. Boom, boom, ha. Boom, boom, ha. Shh. Tu la crisea, na la pasequia. Tu la crisea, na la pasequia.
Lastly, we'd like to say thank you to all of our planners, to our musicians, to our crews making this possible, to our wonderful student speakers, as we embrace the challenges of this pandemic year together. And now, the moments we've been waiting for, the celebration of flags. Algeria, the largest African nation. Antigua and Barbuda, a twin island country of sparkling beaches and cruise destinations. Argentina, a South American land of extreme landscapes and extremely hospitable people. Hello? Australia, the only country that is its own continent. Austria, a mountainous nation with great skiing and a rich musical history. Bahrain, our island neighboring the Gulf. Bangladesh, the Asian country with the world's largest river delta. Belgium, a European nation with three official languages. Bolivia, the South American country with the highest capital in the world. Brazil, the largest country in South America. Bulgaria, a beautiful European country responsible for most of the world's rose oil perfume. Canada, the second largest country in the world and a hockey powerhouse. Chile, a South American nation of mountain, mountains and hardy people with the world's driest desert and mysterious eastern island. China, the world's most populous country and a rising star of industry and manufacturing. Colombia, the Central American country famous for the best coffee around. Costa Rica, the beautiful jungle nation of Central America. Croatia, European nation of more than a thousand islands. Cyprus, a small European island nation with a rich history. Czech Republic, European country and home of its beautiful capital city, Prague. Denmark, Northern European country with the oldest flag and the best toys, Lego. Dominican Republic, a Caribbean nation on the island of Hispaniola with beautiful beaches, warm people, and a rich heritage. Ecuador, a beautiful South American nation on the equator, the only country named after its geographical feature. Egypt, the home of the world's famous pyramids and bustling Cairo. El Salvador, a Central American nation beautiful from its beaches to its mountains. 
Estonia. A European country that is one of the most digitally connected in the world. Finland. The European home of beautiful forests and the northern lights. France. Home of the incomparable Paris, the city of lights. Germany. A European powerhouse of industry and a country of beautiful scenery. Ghana. The first country to declare colonial independence in Africa. Greece. An amazing Southern European country seen as the birthplace of democracy. Honduras. A Central American country of lush jungles and beautiful waters. Hungary. A European country with the stunning city Budapest as its capital. Iceland. An island nation defined by dramatic volcanoes and resourceful people. India. A beautiful country of wide diversity with 22 official languages. Indonesia. An amazing Asian country with sites from Jakarta to Bali. Iran. Last Asian country famous for incredible landscapes and intricate weaving. Iraq, home of the Fertile Crescent, considered to be the cradle of civilization. Ireland, green fields, shamrocks, and Dublin make Ireland a memorable European country. Italy. European home of some of the most beautiful cities in the world. Jamaica. Caribbean nation of reggae music, sunny beaches, and warm hearts. Japan. The Eastern Asian land of the rising sun. Jordan. Home to Petra and Amman, as well as the amazing Dead Sea. Kenya, a proud nation full of native African wildlife. Kyrgyzstan, beautifully mountainous and one of the least densely populated countries on earth. Lebanon. The home of the spectacular and lively Beirut and the land of the cedars. Libya. A North African country with scenic desert landscapes and well-preserved Roman architecture. Malaysia. An Asian country of incredible diversity and the amazing Kuala Lumpur. Mexico. Memorable sites from cosmopolitan Mexico City to the ruins of the Aztec. Morocco. An amazing mix of Berber, European, and Arab culture in North Africa. Nepal. An Asian country featuring the highest mountains in the world and flying a distinctive double pennant flag. Netherlands. Tulips, windmills, Amsterdam, and resourceful Dutch engineers reclaim their land from the sea. New Zealand, a gorgeous South Pacific country of islands, volcanoes, and the All Blacks rugby team. Nicaragua, a dramatic Central American country of lakes, volcanoes, and beaches. Nigeria, 
beautiful African country of nature preserves and the Niger River. Norway. Beautiful northern European country of mountains, fjords, and happy Norwegians. Pakistan. An Asian republic of mountainous terrain and fantastic cricket. Palestine. Home to the Al Aqsa Mosque, the Dome of the Rock, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Palestine is a country of strong people and storied history. Peru! Lima to Machu Picchu, Peru is a stunning land of extremes. Philippines! 7,000 islands and Manila are highlights of this superb East Asian country. Poland! A small, beautiful country that has produced 17 Nobel Prize winners. Portugal. A historic maritime giant and the oldest country in Europe. Republic of Korea. The Asian country of South Korea defined by the bustling megacity Seoul. Romania. Home of Bucharest and the mountainous region of Transylvania. Russia, the world's largest nation in a stunning landscape of people from east to west. Saudi Arabia, an arid desert nation and home to the holiest sites of Islam. Serbia, a European nation of ski resorts and the historic capital, Belgrade. Singapore. One of the world's greenest cities and one of only a few city states. South Africa. The African nation with three capital cities and a great rugby tradition. Spain. Proud nation of rich culture and legacy, exporting its language to over 400 million speakers worldwide. Sri Lanka, a jungle country, world exporter of tea, and hosts of amazing Week Without Walls sites. Sudan, a colorful ancient African country of green river plains and dry deserts. Sweden, a beautiful country with its island capital Stockholm and its worldwide export IKEA. Switzerland. Skiing, lakes, mountains, chocolate, and wonderful alpine people. Syria. Home to Damascus, the oldest continually inhabited city in the world. Taiwan. A small island nation with the modern capital of Taipei at its heart. Thailand. Islands, beaches, and home of Bangkok, the most visited city in the world. Togo. One of the smallest countries in West Africa, Togo is known for natural parks and white sand beaches. Trinidad and Tobago. Think islands and calypso music. You're thinking of the island nations of Trinidad and Tobago. Tunisia. Home of lively markets, Roman ruins, and beautiful North African beaches. Turkey. Home of Istanbul, the city where the east meets west, plus some of the best food around. Uganda, home of the tallest mountain range in Africa. Ukraine, an ancient country with Orthodox churches and the beautiful city of Kiev. United Kingdom, made up of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and Britain, and home of London, the second most visited city in the world. Uzbekistan, an Asian country on the fabled Silk Route, 
Uzbekistan is home to the ancient center of Samarkand with its amazing Islamic architecture. Venezuela, an oil powerhouse South American country of colorful traditions and amazing people. Vietnam, amazing Asian country of islands, coasts, and a blend of French and Asian history. United States of America, from sea to shining sea, the world's largest economy and the world's greatest overseas schools. Qatar, the largest exporter of natural gas, the host of the 2022 World Cup, and the best host country in the Middle East. Come to build our future. 